One thing I've come to realize is one who carries concealed every day is there is no one holster fits all. According to the weather, according to what you're wearing, according to where you're going, there are a lot of different scenarios where you might need a different type holster for different situations. And I do get quite a few people getting in touch with me, wanting me to review their holster, check it out, see what I think. So really, unless it's something really unique or something really high quality, I'm not really all that interested because this is something that if I'm going to recommend something, I know a lot of you guys are going out and buying it. And so it's really important that you have the right type holster. So when Steven at Aegis Armory got in touch with me, I really wasn't all that enthused until I really started looking at his holster systems. And then I started looking at other reviews. And I'm going to tell you what, there's a lot of guys out there that are as satisfied with this holster system as I am. And as far as hybrid holsters go, I feel like that the Aegis Armory Shield is one of the top hybrid holsters on the market if not the best. The hybrid holster while it's a great concept if it's not done right it can really be uncomfortable but I believe Aegis has really made this a high priority for quality and paid a lot of attention to detail and the first thing that I want to talk about and one of the most important is the leather because this leather is touching your skin this leather or, or in your t-shirt and the way it feels, the sharp edges, leather can have sharp edges. It can be uh, rough on the skin. But I've been wearing both of these hybrid holsters, one for a Glock and one for my Smith & Wesson M&P. And it is incredibly comfortable. They use really high-grade leather. And that's really important because it gets a really smooth finish. I mean, look at the smoothness. And then you can see where they've burnished the edges. And then even the back is a nice high-grade leather. Here is a typical hybrid holster. And I want you to look at how rough this leather. This is just raw leather. And it's tough on the skin. It's not very comfortable. The edges are burnished somewhat, but these poke into the back of your skin. Here we've got some really low-profile uh, rivets. And this really is comfortable. You don't even know that this holster is there. Here, you've got such rigidity that it really doesn't fold that well on your back. With the Aegis holster, it just bends and it folds. If you'll notice how this Glock 26 fits into the holster, well, it's not really retained that strongly. When this holster is applied and attached to a belt, then you have the retention that you need. Another thing I really like about the shield are these metal clips. Many times you have plastic clips that are really thick and not all that comfortable or sturdy. Here we have nice durable metal clips that are going to stand up. Now this is the longer clip. Since the time I've got these holsters he's actually gone to a little bit of a shorter clip. In fact he's going to send those to me and let me check it out. But I'll tell you I've been wearing this holster. Even the shield with the full size M&P is really comfortable. In fact, I've been wearing this one particularly all day today and throughout the past couple of weeks. And it really rides nice in the back. You don't even realize that you're wearing concealed when you have one of these on. Now I've obviously scuffed this one up somewhat just from wearing it. But it is a very fine leather. You can see it looks like a really high grade belt. I mean, it's just that type of leather. And one of the beauties about the hybrid design and the tuck design is that you can go ahead and apply this to your belt, and then you can run your shirt behind the clips. Then it'll cover up your holster. And that is a great way, especially if you're having to wear something where your shirt is tucked in. But you can also just bring your shirt down over the entire holster system. The clips are very wide, and a lot of that has to do with distributing the weight and, two, getting it spread out enough to where it'll allow for the holster itself to curve and to fit to your body. One extremely important factor that you should consider when you're choosing any concealed carry holster is to be able to get a complete shooting grip on the pistol. The grip itself needs to be full and in shooting position. Go ahead and take your finger, get it where you normally keep it so you don't accidentally fire the pistol, and then you're ready to start shooting. You don't even have to adjust your grip, just bring your finger down and you're ready to go. As you can see, it's well concealed. Of course, it is a tuck, so I can tuck in 
my shirt. For training purposes, I recommend that you do both. Keep it tucked and untucked. Be able to get the shirt out of the way. Draw your pistol. If you're gonna conceal carry, you need to train. You need to practice with your holster. Whatever that holster is. Here we have the clips that are nice and wide. It really distributes the weight of your pistol across. Removing the holster, it's a really excellent system. Very smooth. The leather is well finished, so it really helps in comfort. Now it has these slots to be able to wear this on the outside. So you have inside the waist or you can go outside the waist. So if you're really looking for one holster to kind of fit different roles, this also will fit the bill. Now this also works for outside of the waistband. So you can run it through these belt loops. Appendix is nice, of course on the side is typically where I carry it, or back here at your kidney. Of course one thing is very nice is to loop it through your first, then go through your belt loop, and then come back through. Plus your clips can be reinforcers. This allows you to have an outside the waistband holster, but really what it does, it gives you a lot of options. You can go with a hybrid inside, outside, it's a one holster kind of deal. Very easy to draw, very easy to reinsert. You can see how this molds right to the body. The leather itself has already broken in, so there's no break-in period. It's instant, you put it on, and it feels just like an old softball glove or a baseball glove and that will allow you to carry longer and be very comfortable. The clips are made to be somewhat loose and this will allow you, once you get it in the belt, to be able to get in the right position. Which, if you know how it is when you're putting in a holster inside the waistband, it can be a little tricky. One of the other things that I really love about what Aegis Armory is doing is they're flaring out certain areas. So to reholster the weapon or to draw it, it makes it much easier here around this trigger guard. Now once you get your holster in the right position on your body, you need to really be able to find where that is, and that comes with practice, to be able to reholster your gun without having to turn around and look. Now one of the holsters that Steven sent, I didn't really know that I would like it. This is the sheath, and it's more of a clamshell type Kydex holster. It does have a lanyard on the holster, and all you do is place the gun up into the holster and lock it into place. First off, this just protects your, your gun. If you have it in a, a range bag, if you have it uh, in a purse, if you're a lady, uh, wherever you put this in a pack, this will keep the gun safe and secure without uh, actuating the trigger. This in itself is just a great protective measure. But after using this holster and looking at what it was designed for, I really like it. And the gun itself will not come out of the holster. It's retained very well. And so it requires a pulling away. So it definitely takes a little bit of force, but it will keep your weapon secure and allow you to bring it out really quickly. Of course, the clamshell design is really nice. It really keeps this fully secure. So you can either pull it out, or with the lanyard in place, you're ready to go. I didn't really know how I would like this design because I didn't really see a necessary need for it. But after working with this holster, you can put this under your shirt, you can have it around your neck, adjust it to the right length, and then just be able to pull loose. Fire. It's just really simple. Pour straight down through the neck. You don't have to worry about inadvertently setting this thing off. Pull it loose. Ready to go. Now, of course, this also works while you're transporting it, whether it's in a range bag, whether it's in a backpack, keeping it good and secure so nothing happens. If you just happen to reach down, you're not going to inadvertently hit that trigger. The sheath just gives you one of those options that when you don't know how to carry or you have a special need, this is an excellent option. Now, the Guardian is a very minimalist holster. I mean, this is a tiny little piece, and all it does is it keeps the trigger guard blocked off. Now with the Guardian, it has the lanyard. Stick this through a belt loop, or you can put it around your belt. Here you've got it secure. You can put it in your pocket, just like this. 
but this keeps the trigger from inadvertently getting hit or snagged. That could cause an accidental discharge. Being able to draw your firearm and then pull it loose, you're ready to go. It's the best of both worlds. It's really minimalist. It keeps it really close. It keeps it small. So they want your billfold, so instead, even appendix style, it keeps your finger out of the trigger guard. Pull up, pull out, fire. Really simple. I love this little system. Of course, this lanyard can be lengthened or shortened or removed altogether to take care of your needs. But it pulls away really nicely. Then to remove, pull the string through, and you're done. This again can go into a backpack, it can go into a range bag, obviously a purse. There's so many different ways to keep this and it's really easy to just break loose. The hybrid holster systems are pretty large and they're made and designed for all day carry. But if you really want something light and fast, I think this Guardian is just an excellent option as well. There are a number of choices of color for the leather and there's also a number of choices for the Kydex. And here I have a carbon fiber type uh, Kydex which I thought really looked nice for this holster. The one for my Glock is in black and then with a dark earth. And you know you can pick whatever color you want to. I mean there's a whole list of different colors and of course you can go to the Aegis Armory website to check those out. The hybrid shield runs $50, the sheath runs $30, and the Guardian runs $15. Now you can find Aegis Armory holsters at aegisarmory.us. And while you're there, let them know that old suit sent you. And while style is important, quality is critical. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. billfold then instead of giving him a bill and then instead of giving him a billfold so check out a so check out Aegis Armory